The COVID-19 pandemic is hurting South Africa's image. A new study ranks countries in terms of their reputation on the global stage. South Africa flexes its muscles in some areas, but let's be clear, our COVID-19 response is not helping matters. The latest now, ENCA's Michael Marilia tracking that particular uh, story for us. And Michael, this study is known as Global Soft Power Index. What exactly is soft power? That's right, Tulisi, where soft power is really the power that countries are able to exercise through their reputation. So it's all about the perception in the rest of the world. How is your country perceived around the globe? And what does that mean in terms of the way that your country or your government can actually influence power? So these uh, rankings came out a little bit earlier this morning, Tulisi, where some fascinating numbers and quite a big survey as well. We're talking about 102 countries around the globe, around about 75,000 people involved. There were two aspects to it. The survey involved the general public as well as specialists, so business leaders, academics, market analysts. So uh, quite an interesting standard in terms of uh, looking at the uh, perception around soft power. I'm going to focus very quickly on our rankings, Tulisi's where and the key thing here. Uh, is that we're doing overall pretty well. We finished 37 out of 105 countries. And I've put the scores of a few different countries up there, as you can see right there, just to put things in perspective. Germany finished uh, top of the pile with a score of roughly 622. Then South Africa, a score of 372, very close to some of its peers in the BRICS group. So that's Brazil and India. In fact, Brazil and India finished just above us in terms of the overall rankings. That's quite impressive when you consider, Tulis, uh, that uh, Brazil and India are much bigger economies and much bigger countries in terms of their population. I actually spoke to one of the researchers this morning and asked him why uh, we did so well in terms of the overall ranking. And he said, to us that we're benefiting to some extent from the so-called Madiba factor. A lot of people around the world are very familiar with South Africa because of its political history and, of course, because of Nelson Mandela. But, Tulis, that statement came with a warning saying that the Madiba factor is starting to fade when it comes to South Africa's reputation. So that's something really we're going to need to focus on as a country. Tulis? So that's the overall ranking, Michael, but we didn't do very well when it comes to COVID-19. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And the research is saying that uh, the COVID-19 response got a weighting of 20% in this uh, particular survey. So key questions to us about uh, the way we uh, g execute our rollout program when it comes to the vaccine and also questions about the way our economy is doing in the wake of the virus. So let's focus on our ranking when it comes to the COVID response. Remember, we were 37th in our overall score. I'm afraid to say, to is we're 72nd in terms of the COVID response. You can see those numbers are right there. Again, I've selected a few different countries uh, just so that you can get some uh, perspective. New Zealand, for instance, a score of 59. It finished top of the rankings. South Africa with a score of 29. So not particularly good, and that's why it's ranked as low as 72. But... Tulis, this is important. Uh, we did finish much higher than India, much higher than Brazil, and also much higher than the United States. Take a look at those numbers right there. The U.S. getting a score of just 12, and that placed it lost, stone lost out of 100 countries in terms of its COVID response. And that's one of the reasons, Tulis, why the USA dropped from first in the overall rankings all the way down to sixth. Leadership matters to the Cizwe, especially when it comes to a crisis like COVID. And that's one of the key lessons that we have to take away from this study. Yeah.